Psycho Dude Greasy here. I'm going to show you my survival tin. It's basically one of these normal Altoids tins. You know, you want to get the normal size. You want to get smaller. Just get this one. You don't have to use an Altoids tin. You can use a lot of other ones. This is mine. Of course, you see the rubber band. Just remove this. See the Morris Code International, you know, in case of emergencies, start a fire with this Morris Code or rocks. I got this idea from the SAS Survival Guy. He's a pocket hand version right here. You can see as big as my hand. And it shows you the page on how to make the survival tin. You see all the stuff right there. You don't necessarily need to use all the stuff, but make it. There's other videos on YouTube that you can see, but this one's based for my basic needs. You know, not all of us think of the same things. You know, my some of us might think of other things to use for the tin. International Morris Code. You got black strikers right there for your matches. And I guess I'll show you some of the things I have in here. Um, first off waterproof matches you strike on this so make sure the matches go with the striker because you don't want to have some cheap matches and strike it and it might not work start your fire and stuff like this I think I have about 10 of maybe 13 matches alright I got this um, knockoff Swiss army knife um, you could put like a small knife with a pair of pliers or scissors but this took up more space but I figured it has a lot more things that I need to use, you know, just in case. Knockoffs, not the real thing. Straw, in case you need to. Right, it's taped together, so I could put it. I could, I could fit it in there. It's a normal straw, bendy. I cut it, of course, so I could fit in there. You know, in case you can't reach the water, you filtered water. You want to drink it out of the straw, stuff like that. Candle. I cut it up, put it in foil, some lace, you know, you don't necessarily have to put lace, you can put other type of things, you know, strong enough to use, um, pencil, the right something, I'll show you what I use the pencil for right now, you got some tea, you know, because in case you filter water, and you know the water's still not good, you can use tea. Another thing I've read in a Navy SEAL book, you can use Tang, you know, orange Tang or any stuff like that, you know, flavored drinks, stuff like that, lemonade, but I decided tea, you know, it's pretty good. I got a sewing kit with some safety pins in it, I put it in the bag so you don't, you know, hurt yourself or something like that, or anyone's going to use it. I got band-aids. I don't know the size, but you know, band-aids that fit in there. Also got a alcohol prep pad. Excuse me, sorry about that. Alcohol prep pad in case you cut yourself and you know you don't want to get infected. Maybe to eat some dangerous food. Many reasons, you know. It doesn't have to be alcohol prep pad, but I strongly more recommend this. And so, um, I think I want to show you use with the pencil as you could write down. And, you know, write it down, put it on the wall in case someone's looking for you, or you could use it as fire, or you know, make a map of where you're at, the general, you know, stuff like that. You know, this is my tin, all the basic stuff that I need for my needs, of course. There's different tins, of course, not necessarily the best one, but this is just in case, different survival. You know, I'm gonna make more than one. You know, one for different situations and stuff like that. And, um, they're pretty easy to make. One thing I could, you could also fit in there, a lot of other, there's a lot of other stuff you're supposed to put in this tin that I'm going to put on in the future. But, you know, this is one thing. It's a whistle. And it comes with a little compass. It has the thermometer in the back. And it also has a magnifier. You know, in case you want to start a fire. You know, stuff like that. If you could get this to fit in, in an Altoids tin, or any other tin, for that fact. You don't need to use an Altoids one, you can use a different type of one.
stuff like that, you know. This is his whistle, the compass. Temp or, you know, you could get some of these things differently, you know, a different whistle, pocket compass, magnifier, stuff like that. You got the idea from this book and other videos I saw on YouTube. Well, you know, one of my friends on YouTube that I that I saw this, so I decided to make it myself. Um, it's not the best one, but I see these all the other ones on YouTube, and they're all different. So you know, you get a different idea because not everyone has the same one. We don't not It's an Altoids tin, and um, most of the stuff I got here was pretty cheap. And to actually buy one of these, I believe it's thirty dollars. And so I, I said, you know what, I'm not going to buy one, I might as well make it myself, you know. I put the Morse code in front of this one, because it replaced the Altoids, and you could actually use it any part, you know. You go hunting, you you know, Morse code, you get lost. And, you know, they use the back in case there's a reflector. They have to look for you, you know, you could reflect it, and then I'm going to see it. So, generally, basically... Don't necessarily need to use all the stuff I need. You can use it the stuff you want. But you know, this is the basic things that I wanted to use. So, all right.